Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have a simple and nutritious summer minestrone soup that is full of flavor and packed with some of summer's most delicious vegetables. So I'm gonna jump right in and show you how it's done. So whenever I'm making a recipe that's packed with veggies, just like this one, I like to prep all my vegetables ahead of time. So here's what I've got. One onion that I've peeled, cut into quarters, and then thinly sliced. A bulb of fennel. Again, it's cored, and then I just slice it thin. Three cloves of chopped garlic. Three medium tomatoes that I've cored and chopped one yellow and one green summer squash. Again, halved, quartered, and sliced up. Two cups of trimmed green beans, cut into one inch pieces. Then I've also got a 15 ounce can of kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed. Six cups of cold water, a little bit of olive oil, and of course, some salt and pepper. Then to cook the soup, I've got a nice big pot heating up over a medium high heat. And I'm just gonna add in two teaspoons of olive oil. That's really all you need. Once the oil has heated up, I'm gonna toss in my onions. Now you wanna hear that sizzle when the onions hit the pan. That's how you know that your oil was hot enough and ready to cook up your onions. Give it all a pinch of salt, and then I'll let this cook for just a couple minutes until the onions are fragrant and beginning to look translucent. From here, I'm gonna to toss in my fennel and my garlic, give it a stir, and I'm just gonna let this go another five minutes or so or until that fennel is tender. Now I'm ready for my tomatoes. Now, if you guys were in a pinch, you could swap out those fresh chopped tomatoes for a can of diced tomatoes. Uh, both will get the job done, but of course, the fresh tomatoes are always a little more vibrant and alive. Then I'll add in my cold water, along with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna turn up the heat, let everything come up to a boil and then reduce it down and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Once the soup has simmered for 20 minutes, the heartier vegetables are gonna have softened up a little bit. So I'm ready for the quicker cooking veggies. So I'm gonna to toss in my summer squash. We've got the yellow and the green, my green beans, and I also have my kidney beans. I'll just give everything a stir, let this cook for another 10 minutes and this soup is gonna be ready to serve. Now what I love about a minestrone soup just like this is that there's really no hard set recipe that you have to follow. You can really use any veggies you have on hand and you can even change it up with the season. So it's a very beautiful, delicious way to get more seasonal vegetables into your belly. And remember, when veggies and fruits are in season, not only do they taste better, but they have a higher nutritional value and they cost less. So it's a win-win-win. I'm gonna shut it off and then finish it off with a big handful of fresh chopped basil. It really gives the soup a big pop of summer. But guys, you could use any fresh herbs you had on hand or that you have in your garden. Fresh mint would be delicious, parsley, even cilantro. And for me, I love to top this soup off with a little bit of fresh, nutty Parmesan cheese and a sprinkle of spicy red pepper flakes. Mm. That is so good. It is everything I want it to be. It's really light. You get the flavor of all the different tender summer vegetables in there, but then the heat from the red pepper and that nutty, creamy Parmesan cheese kind of brings everything together. If you guys like this recipe as much as I do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with anybody else who is looking for simple, delicious, nutritious recipe ideas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> Damn, I know how to cook. I got a hot pepper in my throat. That is so good. Okay, ready? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm.